Okay, first part, uh, let's explain how to uh, receive uh, using uh, Pluto SDR, the satellite uh, Quebec Oscar 100. Uh, first of all, just a basic information about the system I, I'm using here is uh, Windows 7, uh, uh, Service Pack 1, uh, it's a 32 bits and uh, 4 gigabytes uh, memory. Uh, so uh, and the processor I'm using, I don't know, yeah, it's an i5. Uh, so let's uh, start the uh, <coughs> SDR console here. I'm running SDR console version 3.0.11, as you can see. Yeah, it uh, by default it will my uh, my SDR console is set up to show the select radio window uh, when it uh, start. Uh, I choose a bandwidth of 550 kilohertz since um, uh, it consumes uh, less a CPU uh, instead of uh, using a higher bandwidth. Uh, the reason for that is because the Quebec Oscar 100 uh, narrowband uh, transponder has only about uh, 300 kilohertz, so f uh, 550 kilohertz is uh, more than enough uh, to uh, to visualize uh, the entire transponder. Uh, so I'm gonna choose Pluto. Uh, I'm gonna start. So the LNB I'm using uh, has. Um, a 25 megahertz uh, oscillator. <coughs> the fre the IF frequency that I'm, I'm getting from the LNB is 739. So if you are using an LNB with uh, 27 megahertz, so probably this uh, IF frequency is going to be a little uh, higher, like uh, 41 or 40. But uh, in my case, it's it's uh, 739. Okay, uh, so here uh, we have a Quebec Oscar 100 transponder. This is the upper beacon. This is the lower beacon. Uh, first thing with um, with uh, SDR console, you need to uh, to configure. Uh, you just go to tools, uh, then options. Here uh, you must. Uh, if if your show something different than 99.9 .9, you please uh, leave this uh, display as 99.9 .9. not this one not this one but this one 99.1 so that's the first step uh, you need uh, to take uh, for SDR console the other, the other step uh, that you you must take on uh, as your console is um, is right here. Uh, you go to view, and uh, on the on the select, you click select. Uh, you need to enable uh, this one geostationary beacon. I have also those other options enabled. Uh, the satellite, uh, because it, it, it allows me to show the uh, the satellite tracking for the LEOs. So, but uh, specifically for a Quebec Oscar 100, you should uh, enable this option, geostationary uh, beacon, and uh, you click OK. Uh, is it's going to request you to restart. Uh, I will not do that because I, I had it enabled already. So I'm going to keep uh, running. Okay, I'm going to start again. Um, Pluto. And uh, I'm going to tune, uh, this is the CW beacon, the lower beacon. I'm going to tune on the upper beacon, the PS key beacon. And I'm going to try to centralize the frequency uh, and take note of, uh, of this frequency here. Um, yes, more or less here. Uh, so 739773. That's, that's the frequency. So I'm going to stop. 
then um, I'm going again here to this window, uh, to this option, select radio. just uh, you choose uh, this uh, button here definitions uh, if it your option converter selection is not clicked so you click on the box here and click on edit okay. then you're gonna you're gonna give this uh, you're gonna have this w window here converter definitions what we we are trying to do here is instead of uh, getting the IF frequency from the LNB this is the real frequency from the LNB. We're gonna we're gonna mask this frequency to show uh, the transponder frequency. Uh, I mean the the 10 gigahertz uh, frequency. Uh, so we know that uh, the the CW. I mean the PS key, the upper beacon. It's uh, on a 10 uh, 10 um, gigahertz uh, for 89 800. So you're gonna open a uh, calculator and type this frequency ten four eight nine eight hundred and you're gonna subtract uh, the frequency you are reading here seven three nine seven seven three Okay, so you're gonna get this result nine seven fifty zero twenty seven. This is the shift you need to put here. Uh, you must uh, choose down converter as well. Okay, uh, so you're gonna erase everything here. You're gonna uh, press zero zero, um, and the frequency that uh, we just calculated uh, nine nine uh, seven five zero. So it's going to be okay. Let me restart here. Nine seven five zero. Okay, the nine seven five zero must uh, be uh, within the first part here before the dot. Okay, so let's go to the second part of the frequency uh, checking here nine no, so, so, okay zero twenty seven and uh, here zero twenty seven you you result and the rest is you keep zero 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 the uh, you your frequency must vary so it's it's my frequency from my LNB so you, if your LNB is like seven four one you must uh, subtract uh, the the 10 for 89 800 uh, you must subtract uh, the f 7 for 1 uh, etc okay so i'm subtracting this because this is the frequency i'm getting uh, the the if from my uh, specific lnb which again is running uh, on a 25 megahertz uh, oscillator so you click uh, it 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 comes with the up converter always when you open the first time this window so you must uh, remember to change to down converter and click on add and save uh, so save again and then when you you're gonna be back to this window select radio uh, you're gonna reselect Pluto and then you're gonna select here converter down and the frequency we just put there you're gonna click start again to start uh, the receiver yes uh, here we got uh, I got some shift uh, drift I mean uh, because my LNB is not stabilizing <coughs> um, you so uh, now I, I already made uh, the necessary conversions to to work on uh, to mask this frequency to the 10 uh, gigahertz so I'm going to the 10 gigahertz so 10 yeah yep more or less here okay I'm, it's not showing here but that's because uh, 
okay I, uh, I need to I need to enable my my uh, beacon tracking here to um, as you can see in this little window this window fluctuates okay you can you can you can choose when you put this window here so I choose just to put in the bottom okay uh, and I'm gonna enable it I'm gonna track uh, the the upper beacon so I'm gonna get uh, I'm gonna get rid of all the drifts yeah it's not changing here because my recording screen software uh, has a delay and uh, this upper window here gets a little crazy but uh, okay let's take attention here on this middle window okay uh, so you're gonna see that the frequency now shows 10 gigahertz this is the real frequency I mean this is the frequency coming from the uh, transponder so we are masking it but actually this is the real frequency coming from the transponder um, so here is the CW beacon Yeah, please don't mind uh, the upper window here because of the delay. So, y and you're gonna be, you're gonna realize that as soon as you use uh, this uh, geostationary satellite beacon that you have enabled uh, from here, from here, and you just lock. So if if I don't, okay, uh, you see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose. Uh, it's gonna drift. Uh, I'm gonna lose the correct frequency. So you must lock your to the upper beacon here. And actually, this will gonna tell you the difference uh, from from uh, what what is the drift your LNB is uh, facing right now. In my case, um, I'm, uh, my LNB is drifting uh, 1.2 kilohertz. But I have a stable reception signal. So this is how to receive um, the Ke Quebec Oscar 100 uh, satellite uh, using not necessarily only Pluto, but uh, most of the SDR uh, dongles. I hope uh, it, it it helps.